trust is is obviously a key component. We are big believer in our organization that uh, technology uh, can be a very um, important enabler to trust building because uh, it ensures uh, transparency and transaction. It enables uh, collaboration, uh, virtual and then perhaps in person that in fact their investments are going to specific things they really care about um, and and uh, essentially it could build that type of trust also that uh, people want to be engaged more and more uh, to do it. First we built credibility of, of myself and uh, my diaspora organization so that you can use uh, reputation to help facilitate the relationships between diaspora and key stakeholders. Um, and then we listen to and advocate the needs and challenges of both sides. This is when you begin coordinate them together. So afterwards, uh, you create a space for them to have an open, respectful, and resultful, uh, result-driven dialogue it's because honest, uh, only honest and open communications can lead to mutual understanding. Diasporas have to have confidence that their voices are being heard, uh, that it's not just a one-way street where the country of origin is trying to get their money and their resources uh, without making them part of the decision-making process or part of the strategic planning process in that country. And I think trust grows slowly um, and it can be lost very quickly. I think the, the surest route to building trust is, um, is engagement, um, making diasporas part of uh, the, the, the planning and implementation process so that they can see with their own eyes that uh, their priorities are being attended to 